Hello again, a new day, the same old story. I wish to say a new project, but I'm sorry it's the same old. Why? Because I got a lot of questions again about filtering LoRa signals. Well, guys, you can see right here, I have my RTL SDR radio connected to a very basic Heltec antenna. You see, that's a lower antenna, 3.5 dB. And uh, on the screen, we already can see some activity, uh, some LoRa signals here, there, everywhere, okay? So these white dots here, these are beacons from the area, all right? Well, what I'm trying to say, okay, let me turn the gain off because we don't need too much gain for this experiment we are on 868 megahertz straight in the middle of the band that's where theoretically the filter should be on the top of the signal you see the the filter signal it's like a bell something like this what oh tommy hello there tommy hey tommy how are you? Say something to the camera. Long time no see. Okay? Get out of here. Bye. The filter, it's a kind of bell. With 868 somehow in the middle. So here we have the maximum tolerable signal, let's say. Down here we have at least minus 30 dB. At least 30 db so everything what's going under this frequency it's cut you know and uh, all the signals going under or up than 868 will be gradually cut it down i always have this um, similitude with the light you know consider a flashlight you have that big round light beam of course you can cover a huge area but it's not so detailed but when you focus the the flashlight in the middle you have a really really nice powerful spot of light it's almost the same story or take it the other way let's say we have a crowded market you know lots of people Hundreds of people, you know, everybody's talking. Of course, you can hear the rumor. You can hear the, the, the people, you know, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, mixture of, of voices and laughings and so on. But suddenly, in the middle of that crowd, somebody have a portavoce, you know what I mean? It's like a trumpet, you know, that kind of amplifying, you know, directional um, voice uh, amplifier or something, you know, it's just an acoustic uh, something. Okay, so that that person is taking that portavoce and starts talking exactly on on your direction or something. You suddenly you can hear his voice from the crowd. You know, that's exactly what's happening with filtering the radio signal because you know, the minor, let's say, the minor have. Uh, LNA, low noise amplifier, and that amplifier, it's catching all the radio spectrum, you know, doesn't matter if your antenna, it's uh, uh, strictly tuned on 868 megahertz, it's catching anyway, some radio signals around. So somehow, you know, it's like a cake with everything mixed. That's why we need the filter. We need to extract the chocolate from there, I may say, you know. And uh, the amplifier, uh, at least if you have a GSM uh, radio towers, if you have uh, any other kind of communication, strong communication in the area where your antenna is placed. So this whole, uh, how can I say, mix of radio frequencies or communication will overload the amplifier. So having a filter, it gives to the LNA, to low noise amplifier, only 
uh, just a piece of the cake, you know. And that means a better signal, a better signal noise ratio. And uh, also it's cleaning up the radio environment. A filter, it's absolutely necessary, even if in the minor there are filters. That doesn't really matter, you know, because a filter never hurts. Double filtering, it's much better. And uh, of course, you are losing like uh, 2 dB of signal around 2 dB. A cavity filter, it's even better. You are losing like maybe maximum 1 dB. So this is great. But that's not the problem. The, the point is that with a filter, you can have a signal noise ratio much better and much cleaner radio signal. And let's have some tests. Okay. We are on 868, but if we go down, let's say, oh yes, here we are. We are on the GSM area, and look there, it's a huge, it's a huge noise, not noise, of course, these are signals for the GSM. and. Look what happens if we add a filter to this frequency. So this is 806 megahertz. If we take it that way, it's pretty close to the LoRa signals. All right. So I'm taking out the antenna. And you can see this is so loud. You can, you can even get it without the filter without uh, the antenna. Look there. And now, I had the, you see, I put the filter on, no more signal. Only if we really push the gain and something is coming up. But it's effectively cleaning up the area, okay? Filter on. Look at this place here on the right. Let's take that like a repair reference. Minus 84 on peak 77, minus 77. And now I'm taking out the filter. So I don't need an antenna, it's going like that already. And there we go. Minus 63. There we go. Minus 57. Minus 54. You see? It's a very clear difference. All right. Let's go to the other side of the spectrum. So uh, we are leaving this area here. And we should go around 900. Where is the other GSM band? Oh, look here. This is huge. All right. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. I'm taking the antenna out. Obviously, no more signal. I'm having the filter on the input and the antenna in. Look there. Compare these ones with the other. So it's like minus 77 here and we had minus 34. It's a huge difference. Now you can see very clear what is this filter doing. 
Okay, we have filter. Okay, let me clean this. <clears throat> so, filter on, filter out. Antenna on, look. This is the best graphical uh, situation ever. And now, if we take it the other way, let's go back to 868, our area of interest. And let's put up the gain. Well, and this is obviously the noise floor. Minus 45 dB. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, we are right here, 868. Let's put it in the middle. All these dots here, around here, they are LoRa beacons. And let me have the filter. So this was the noise floor. And look here with the filter on. Obviously, much lower. We got here like minus 39 and we got here minus 47, at least 10 dB lower noise floor. And you can feel, you can see the difference in the color. Okay, no filter. Taking out the filter right now. Antenna on. And look there. We are ready. You can see the change of the color. This is noise. This is noise. We don't want. We don't want that. It's radio noise. It's this is radio noise. So that's the story about the filter. It's a need. Yes, it's a need. So um, I really recommend having a filter. A simple one like this, minus 1.9 dB. It's perfect. It's easy to install, and uh, it can save you some. Uh, some stress, of course. Uh, thank you for now. I hope it's useful. I'll be back with some other news. And uh, most of all, like, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye. Oh.